We're Eamon and Beck, and for the last three years, we've been living in our van to travel the world. Though recently, we took a break and flew home to Canada. Today, we move out of our cozy Toronto apartment and head back to Europe to begin another grand adventure. Hello! We just got pulled over by the police. Do you love it as much as me? No. Oh. <laughs> the best D in the world. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Hi, beautiful peach. Good morning, everybody. I have so missed our Sunday catch-ups and I'm really excited to show you what our life has been like here in Toronto. It is amazing how quickly you fall into a cheeky routine. We've been loving having the gym right in our building. So I think we're gonna start today with a little gym session, but first a little coffee. I like to have a piece of fruit before I work out. And then get swole, baby. Yes, well. Tiny moments filled with golden perfect weekends I could dream all night. Did you need my Japanese hair? Hey baby, let's go. You ready? You would catch me. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what the heck? Freaking snowstorm outside and it just felt on, like the right thing to do. Let's go. Let's go. Gym clothes on. Buddy, you can't do that <laughs> unless you want to try fun stuff. Gym clothes on. Oh, there we go. Let's go to the gym, baby. Let's go. super funny because most mornings when we're going to the gym, we have the same conversation like, how cool is it that we just get to press a button and then we go down to the gym? Because to be honest, when we're van lifing, sometimes the whole day is around like finding a gym and a shower. So these little luxuries, they haven't worn off on us yes, yet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. We also love that we can go to the gym basically when nobody else is around. Before 9 a.m. and after 5 p.m. this gym is packed. But it's really quite nice. Whoa. Canada, eh? And this year, 2020, we're gonna start to share more of our fitness routines with you guys. But for now, we're in a little bit of a rush. So we're just gonna get at it. what life has consisted of here in Toronto. You are so sweaty. <laughs> Simple mornings, gym workouts, and my favorite bit, all these hot water showers. Okay, let's eat! This is our favorite flavor at the moment. It's the acai blueberry, and I'll quickly show you what we're gonna throw in there. So, start it with the protein. And I'm not sure we've mentioned this before, but Vivo did release and now is offering their multivitamins, is that what they're called? Vitamins. These are amazing. They're just little uh, vials where you can just add to your smoothie or squeeze it right into your mouth. So this is the omega-3, vitamin D, because we ain't got no D in the sun, and the B12, which is delicious. I just... <laughs> And just 
to share a little bit of what it was exactly we got up to while we took this break from YouTube. We were vending at a very large holiday market here in Toronto. We were so lucky our apartment we rented was only a five minute walk from the show. So each and every morning the team would just kind of walk over to the show, get set up and get ready for a crazy day. Over a quarter of a million people come through the show and our booth is always full of energy, full of so much joy. So thank you to everyone who came by, purchased some tea, just said hello, and thanks again to our crew for making it such a special time. Fantastic! <laughs> Fantastic! No, it was amazing. The best, the, honestly, the best I've had. You have to have the chai. Perfect. I like her quite a bit. I really like to take it home and make it every day. I think it's the best. Oh, thank you so much. have been together for seven Christmases now and we've never really been ones for gifting um, normally we just try to focus oh we just try to focus on an experience or I don't know investing back in something this year we're really excited because we've wanted something for a very long time and we're finally taking the plunge also we only have 13 minutes and 17 seconds so okay, let's go let's go Hustle! Yes, this is yours. Beautiful. Just, Thank you, you so just much. came in. Amazing. Um. <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas. Now, I will need probably a good couple hours to sort this little guy out. <laughs> Never had a gimbal before, let alone any kind of steady cam or any kind of three axis stabilizer thing you got to balance. So maybe we'll check with you in a little bit. Yeah, look guys, I know we said we'd see you tomorrow, but I just want to show you the status of this place right now. It's absolutely destroyed. And we've got to check out tomorrow at 11. What are you doing? Why are you always catching me like this, bud? Yeah. I'm actually, I just packed up the entire apartment and you turn on the camera when I'm resting. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. We said goodbye to our Toronto apartment, drove across the city to my parents' place, unpacked, then repacked, and boarded our flight to Spain. After 24 hours and two layovers, we arrived safely in Barcelona to our dear friends, Virginia and Ricard, who then drove us to our beloved van, Trinity! Oh, my house, I'm home! <laughs> Buen dias, amigos. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Van Life. I miss my pillow. No, I miss my pillow. I miss my pillow, too. <laughs> I don't even have a fancy pillow, but I still missed it. It's been amazing sleeping in Trinity. We had a great apartment in Toronto and lots of friends' places to crash, but honestly, nothing beats your own mattress, your own pillow, your own cozy comforter. It's just been so awesome. And although you just heard the heater turn off there, it's been cold, but it's nice and cozy in here. Dry and cozy. Very dry. We basically have just been spending all of our time getting reacquainted with the van, lots to put away, lots to clean, lots to get ready for 2020. I was first starting with reorganizing our garage and getting our beautiful throne in situated, in situated, situated. So I got to rehydrate some more of these um, composting bricks. This is what we use to poop into. This coconut core, you guys have seen this before probably. So I need to rehydrate them. Um, also, we left water in the tank, but I think it was okay because it was so cold. It wasn't getting like hot and bacterial, but I'm gonna drain the tank and then flush it out, put some new stuff in. My task of the day is to just organize clothing. I've already kind of reorganized my closet area. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'll show you our little trick. This pillow is full of sweaters and warm clothing. And then this guy here is gonna go back up on the roof with all of our summer stuff. I thought I got to wear you summer stuff, but not yet. <laughs> It's 
kind of an annoying job. I know we had a grand day suitcase and you might think it's all closed, but we brought back this bad boy and I've been going to town. Watch this. I went from not even having a broom in the van. Uh-huh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Do you love it as much as me? No. Oh. <laughs> and although we are super excited to get on the road and continue traveling, we have had a battery issue that's kind of been hovering over us for the past few months. And before we dove really deep into solving that problem, we were invited out with Ricard's parents and family to a very traditional Catalonian meal. Eamon just grabbed a piece of bread and put it on his plate and started eating it. They're like, whoa, no, no, no. Everyone dropped their cutlery. <laughs> so what you do is you take your bread, you take the garlic first, you spread strong the garlic, then you take half a tomato, like this, and I'm having so much fun eating with my hands, and then salt and oil. Wow! <laughs> a lot of garlic. See? I love it. I love it. But this is what we're really here for, is the famous calzots. It's a Catalan tradition or Spain? Catalan. Solo Catalan. Which is Catalonia. Catalonia, which is the region near Barcelona. And I haven't done this yet. So, <laughs> so I pulled out. Papa, come teach me. Yeah. <laughs> Hola, Papa. <laughs> Basically, this is a spring onion, and we've roasted it, and then we're going to dip it into a sauce. And the sauce is just a tomato paste with almonds and garlic and oil. It's totally vegan. It's, 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 <laughs> a lot of flavor. Yeah? Very nice. Mm -hmm. I love it. After 57 cold sucks. <laughs> sucks. 58. <laughs> 58. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. But our big priority is obviously batteries. Over the past few months, we have been struggling to fully charge our batteries. <laughs> Actually, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just tighten everything. Not knowing what the problem was meant troubleshooting and testing all connections. What? And after much deliberation, frustration and translation we've decided what we need to do and that means driving to Girona which is 40 minutes away all right it's just us three going on the mission Becca is staying back to do some editing Vamanos! pour the water <laughs> Okay, we've arrived. We didn't get a parking spot, but Ricard in Virginia says this is okay. It's a pretty quiet street. Okay, so here is where the story got a little confusing. Basically, after some tests, we discovered we need to have a better way to charge the batteries. The 320 watt solar panel and alternator alone was simply not enough. We just got pulled over by the police. But don't worry, it's our friend from the police station. Hola, hola, como estas? How are you? How are you? My policia amiga, huh? We went to multiple shops. And it's working very well. In so, 220, out 110. Realized our shore power charger wasn't working. Played a friendly game of Bop It. 
oh, and bought another charger. Okay, so this is definitely the spot. She actually speaks a little bit English, which is very, very helpful. For my YouTube channel? It's just for YouTube. Ah, yes. Yeah, but, but no English. No stuff. filming? No, okay, no, no problem. I'll tell you, talk to you guys in a minute. We've lost another day working on this mission. But a small update, a small win, is we ended up buying this here Victron charge controller, charger thing. And basically this is a European style 220 volt. And I can charge the batteries manually. So that's a win. That's a small win, but that's a huge win. But it's a small win, but it's a big win. It's a big win. Yeah, <laughs> it's a course. big win. It's yeah. a long day. <laughs> it's a too long. Long, long day. A lot. Gracias, Ricardo. A lot of work today. Buenos dias. Good morning, Buenos everybody. Dias. <laughs> Super excited to take a little bit of a break from all of these chores we've been getting up to and go on a little adventure today. Yeah, I'm done dealing with these batteries, to be honest. Are they fixed? We don't know, but. Vamos anyways. Is that better for you, Jess? I can tell, I can tell I'm over my limit. Nothing left for me to second guess. After a one and a half hour windy road, we've made it to our destination. I feel amazing being back in the van, going on an adventure. Virginia even said on the way she feels so happy when we're driving in the van. So it makes me happy to have her happy. And I'm gonna make the crew some chai and yogurt bowls just so that we're not starving on the hike. Ricard, tell me. How much do you like the chai? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. More. A lot is. Uh, more than a lot. <laughs> more than a lot. It's the best ever? Yeah. That, that's it's me, original Taiwala. Buen provecho, cariño. Yes, yes. Ooh, I like. There's a lot of reasons why Jazz is my favorite dog of all time. Jazz, hey, hey, atrás. He's not only brilliant, sit. He speaks multiple languages, <laughs> but he's also an avid vegetable eater. His favorite, the carrot. But he also likes every single fruit, <laughs> most vegetables. Is there any vegetable he doesn't like? He likes potatoes, no, raw? Everything. Everything. Vegan yogurt? He he literally has saliva over carrots. Yeah. He's we'll show you later on the hike. I think this is one of those hikes where you've got to stop again and again and again and again. Are you ready for this? Do you think they're ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let's go! <gasps> wow! Hey Virginia, I trust you. She asked me if I trusted that this would be good. I trust her. Hello! <laughs> My name is Ricard! <laughs> no, 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 his name was Ricard. No, no, my name is no, I think you uh, don't understand <laughs> English very well. No, no, no. I think your English is. Mm. Oh, yeah. I just heard that a guy you, named Ricard. You say bullshit. <laughs> So obviously this hike was highly recommended to us from Virginia and Ricard and wow, I think it's my favorite hike we've done in Spain so far. It's been beautiful from the very beginning and here's Virginia to tell you more details in case you want to come. <laughs> okay, we are here almost at the top and we can see an abandoned um, city. It's abandoned. Perfect. And we can just look at the um, church. The church, the top look, of the look church. Look at the, the top of the church. All the town is under the water. You know how we were saying earlier we weren't getting any vitamin D in Canada? Look at this! A little sun worship in Oh, uh, we got a sun worshiping on session. On a January on. day here. Oh my gosh. 
It feels like it could be 20 degrees right now. In direct sun, it's perfect. Jazz, you want to continue? <laughs> I see. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. He doesn't like to stop. <laughs> so we keep going. Virginia, are you joining my sun worshiping club? <laughs> I love it's it. So I love good. it in summer and yeah. more in winter. Me too. <laughs> Me encanta. Me encanta el sol. Now, we are gonna have lunch there. Oh, I love are you it. Sir, sure? aren't you afraid of heights? Uh, yeah, but I love You are place. crazy! <laughs> but Jess has to jump. And I don't know if we are going to okay. do it, but I think we can. Of course we can. Super smart dog. Of course he can do it. Yes. See, I knew it. Yes. Hop, hop, hop. Muy bien. Muy bien, <laughs> what do we got, chef? Kiss. Rice with vegetables. Hey, it's not for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's good, huh? Food always tastes better outside. See. Mm. And with a decent view. Jazz, tu estas cansado? <laughs> See? Muy, 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 muy. Hey, Mon, vlog it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> you, okay. And now, the best moment of the day. And now, the best moment of the day. Look at this. The original. Chai Guala. The, the, best. the best chai tea. The best Tai Chi. Again. No, 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 no. Chai. chai tea. The best Tai Chi. The best Chai Chi. Tai Chi. Amen. Please, don't broken my moment. <laughs> the best tea in the world. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and Oh fuck, it's hot! <laughs> <laughs> see? No, it's good. It's great. I can see, I can see I'm losing my vision. Fighting, sleeping, I can't find myself. I can feel, I can feel this gravity slipping. Join us next week as we head south to explore more of Spain's incredible views and face some of our biggest fears. To be totally honest, I really don't want to do this. Mark's got your back. Yeah. And I've got Mark's back. But if I fall... <laughs> and I got Andrew's back. Yeah. We also have another run-in with the cops, and this time it doesn't end so amicably. We've been issued a 250 euro fine for not having... Subscribe so you never miss a video from us.